Hello YouTube, DE Badri here. So, no flashlights, no bullshit. Um, apples and apples comparison. Everything the same as much as I can possibly make it. Um, the only thing that's different is the LED. So, Legit Cree XHP 70.2 Chinese XHP 160. Four Cree LED elements, 16 Chinese LED elements of the same size. Both have the same gauge wires. Both are glued down to the same heat sink. Both of them end in XT60 connectors. <clears throat> so all that stuff is the same. Um, same thing on the other end. So here is uh, dual uh, power supplies. Um, these are good for 15 amps uh, out. Uh, they are adjustable down to about 2 volts and up to about 60 volts uh, with a 60 volt maximum input. And they each have an XT60 connector on them to plug into those. Uh, their input side, which is back here, they both come out to the same XT90 connector, which goes to this XT90 connector to this Meanwell 48 volt power supply. Good enough, I don't actually need to have a 60 volt in to make this work. 48 volts in is just fine. So, what you will see on these two displays is the same voltage going to two LEDs, and you'll get to see on here as well the amount of current draw that they take. Uh, right now both these power supplies are both set to 6 volts and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of those two LEDs and that's going to be that and what we're going to see happen um, and I know this because I've done it um, I have taken a legit Cree XHP 70.2 side-by-side uh, -side to a Chinese XHP 70 and um, ramped up their voltage and seen which one lasts and which one doesn't and of course the Chinese LED died and the legit Cree LED did not and I've also done the same thing with XML2's and Chinese XML's and Chinese XPL's and Cree XPL2's and seen the same thing. The Cree LEDs survive, the Chinese LEDs do not. So here they are side by side on the same heatsink. What we're going to see here is that these both will, you know, they're both going to start at 6 volts, and you'll see that. And we're going to see them both light up, and then I'm going to adjust like to 6.3, 6.5, something like that. And we'll see them both get brighter. And at some point in time, this guy is going to start burning out. It's going to get dimmer. Um, its LED elements inside are going to start delaminating. Um, things like that. Probably a silicone dome will lift off. I don't know exact details, but I'm just saying. Those are the sorts of things I've seen in the past. Whereas this guy here, it's going to love it. It's just going to keep eating more voltage and more current and getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Uh, give it a little bit more, so now we're like, I say, 6.8 volts or 6.6. .6. I don't know exactly when. This guy is just going to get brighter, and this guy is going to start losing elements. They're going to stop working. Uh, and we go to maybe, like, say, 7 volts. And this guy has now, like, completely stopped working, or maybe it's got, like, one, maybe two elements still working. And this guy is just loving it. I already know that this LED can live at 12 volts despite being wired for 6. I've done that test and it worked. The only reason why it died was because the LED was stuck down with thermal glue, or thermal paste rather, than instead of thermal glue. So both these LEDs are curing right now. They have thermal glue under them so that they will stick down and stay put. And the thermal glue is good for like uh, 500 degrees Celsius or something, a, a lot, <laughs> basically. They won't come off uh, no matter how hot those LEDs get. So, the glue will stay put, uh, which means that the LED will stay put, unlike the thermal paste, which gets warm, and, which is fine, um, and then it gets soft, and then the LED lifts off. And that's exactly what happened when I tried to run a 6-volt run a LED at 12 volts. It simply got quite warm, and the thermal paste, you know, got soft, and then the LED lifted off, and then it immediately went to the thermal runaway, and of course the LED died. That's going to happen to anything, but stuck down to heatsink, nah it's going to run for a good little while. So this test is literally going to sacrifice one of my brand spanking new XHP160 flashlights and we're going to watch that guy die and that guy live. So that's it. Hope that everybody enjoys that. It's going to come soon as soon as that thermal glue sets up.